Hi everybody, welcome back to Celestial Guidance with Janine. Uh, this is the new moon um, energy reading and I'll have cards, um, I'll shuffle cards too and see what comes up and confirms the information I have. But those are five things for the new moon. Um, something to look out for, I guess, or things to, um, I mean, I feel like it's all good things that are coming forward for us really. And I feel like we've been doing so much work and it's just, today's been it's just a little more exhausting even though I feel like I got enough sleep and I, I, I think I, you know, I woke up four or five times during the night, but <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I had pretty decent sleep, but I just felt really like, um, just really extra exhausted today, but I can't even explain it. I just, I, feel, I just chalked it up to just, just the energy of the new moon. So you may just feel a little out of sorts or just a little extra tired. Um, a little more lethargic than normal, you know, um, just being, and I feel like what they're trying to tell us with that is that it's, it's time to slow down just to take a breather, you know, just, you know, get yourself grounded, which was the first thing I was, they had me write down. So I have five things, um, that they're saying to be aware of. Um, so one was to stay grounded, you know, and I think this is what this energy, that's why I felt like so lethargic today was just to get yourself grounded, bring yourself back to center. You know, maybe if you can get out into the woods or get into hiking or get out in nature, even taking a walk around your neighborhood, you know, seeing trees and flowers, um, to somehow get out in nature a little bit. If you're in the desert, you know, I know there's um, you know, just a lot of, you know, probably cactus and dirt, um, but maybe finding um, just your zen in that area, you know, maybe making it more colorful or making it more yours. So that way it brings the energy of you. Even putting crystals around areas can help you bring energy in because the desert actually has very powerful energy as well. So being on the desert, seeing the stars is very powerful. And I think I even saw something about um, a bunch of shooting stars going on right now. So I don't know where, I hope it's here too because I'd love to see some shooting stars. But they're saying to stay grounded. So because it's we're grounding in a lot of new energy right now. And everything we've been going through and all the purging we've been going through, it's like time to just really ground, uh, really uh, take some breathing, really do some journal work, uh, write out what's ever in your head, you know, try to really get out of the head space or saying, and it's really being, bringing it back to the heart, or, uh, heart center. I feel like we've been going through a lot of heart healing. A lot of us have been purging and letting go of things that no longer serve us, which brings me into you know, this uh, new moon is in Cancer. It's about, you know, um, new starts, new beginnings, fresh starts, you know, start letting go of what no longer is serving you. If it's negative talk or negative thinking, you know, changing that, making a new affirmations to you, tell yourself every day. If it's something that you need to let go of, of an old relationship, you know, maybe it's time to let that go. But with the new moon in Cancer, I, very unlikely it's going to happen right now. This is a time for seeds of growth and time for a lot of, you know, uh, sexual energy. So if you're, you know, feeling extra motivated, you know, it, it go for it. <laughs> uh, but be careful. It's very, very careful because I feel like a lot of babies could be made right now. Um, the So they may not be sleeping well, feeling a little exhausted, lethargic. Uh, we're heading into, oh, I went to number two. So you may be feeling, you know, sleep, not sleeping well. Didn't even realize I was into it. <laughs> um, you're feeling exhausted, very lethargic. You know, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, fresh water. No, stay off of tap water as much as possible. Um, I always have a filter on my, I even have a, uh, a filter on thing, and I also have sparklets. Is it sparklets? No, it's something else. But I like alkaline water the best, and I really love that. There was one, uh, one I would get. It was called Starfire water. Oh my god, that was like my favorite water. And they energize the water with music and crystals, and it just you can taste the difference. You can feel the difference. It was my favorite, favorite water. I think every time I try to get out to Venice Beach, way I try to buy a couple bottles. It's like five dollars a bottle, but it's so worth it because you just feel it in every part of your body, your DNA. Um, so the other one, oh, so three is new beginnings. So it's a time for starting for new beginnings right now. Um, so it's letting go of you know, what no longer serves you, what needs to let go, what is not um, serving your energy anymore. And that's why they want you to journal, to let go, you know, why they want us to journal is to uh, look clearly at what we need to let go of. You know, maybe we can see a pattern in our writing or maybe there's the past we need to let go of. Hold on, we have a car that flew out. <laughs> Okay. 
maturity. Yeah, we are, they want us to see the work that we have done and see the maturity that we have done. So basically looking back on our last last year, basically, and seeing the growth that we have done so far, you know, the maturity, the how we've matured within the last year, or maybe even so far as January. I feel like a lot of us changed a lot since January. And this is really about letting go of, you know, just uh, all the old energy, the purging we've been doing. So it's like really letting go of all this old stuff um, that's really not serving our energy going forward because we can't bring all this energy with us where we're going. So it's like our, we're shifting. Our energy is shifting. So they're saying with our energy shifting, we can't hold on to all this baggage. We can't move forward if we're holding on to negativity or anger. You know, it's like even that was one thing. I, was, I don't know if I wrote that down, but it's like being to seeing things more clarity you know, I've just noticed how ugly people are being lately. You know, like you try to help somebody out and then you get somebody who talks backlash about it, you know, and it's like, why do people have to be so horrible? And even how people are so horrible to animals, I, I just don't get it. It's like my heart breaks whenever I see, you know, I even hear about an animal being abused. And it's like, man, people are more animals than animals are. I just don't get it. It's like, why do people have to be so ugly? like we're all one energy we're all one being so we maybe have our eyes maybe opening up a little more so you know being with that just take everything go with the flow stay grounded just look at everything as you know this is just in life experience we're spiritual beings having a human experience when we go home we're not going to feel the same way as we're looking at this now because it's all about we're being human so we're feeling as human where we're from on the other side home where you know heaven is where everything is joy so we just take this as an experience it's a growth you know we're being applauded for what we're going through this is not easy being human it's not easy going through what we're going through and having to go through our past and being human and having to deal with these feelings <laughs> so it's like it's difficult so but we signed up for this so it's like okay we're here for it let's deal with it they're like saying just suck her up and you know this, what's that saying i like to say uh something buttercups <laughs> uh, buckle up buttercup or something like that pucker up buttercup um the other one is experiencing so that just totally confirms that we are experiencing life we're experiencing being human this is all an experience everything we're going through life is just an experience Hold on, we have two more fell down. Oh, they have a lot to say right now. Um, let me see if I have any more things. Seeing more with clarity. Okay, and the fifth one is, be careful what you're saying right now. Be careful the words that you are putting out. Um, because energy is very powerful right now. I feel like whatever you're putting out, you're going to receive right away. So being very clear with clarity, uh, with purpose. Uh, really watching the negativity, what you're putting out, because you're going to bring it right back. So if you're like, maybe if you're being feeling lucky and you really want to win the lottery, put it out there that this is the time. Or maybe it's a job, you know, maybe you want to get your purpose going. Whatever it is, think positive and put that energy out instead. Because right now, the energy within the next, they're saying the next three to five days is really powerful. So with the new beginnings, new energy going in, be careful what you're saying, be careful what you're putting out there because the energy is very powerful and we can tenfold it. So it's like, just be very careful, be very conscientious of what, how you're feeling, what things you're thinking, what the words you're saying. And so because all that energy, all those words are energy. And the voice that you speak with is energy. So be very careful right now, within the next three to five days, probably, yeah, that makes sense, five days, because the new moon, um, the energy right now, until it always has their effect three days after the new moon, that makes sense why I keep hearing five days. So five days, it's gonna be very powerful right now. So be very careful what you're putting out to the universe, unless it's positive, positive energy. We're letting go of all the old stuff. We're moving forward and going to new beginnings. So we're moving forward into a new journey. So let all this old stuff go and it's time to move forward. And let's see what the other two cards that came out. Um, yeah, innocence. So I was looking at life as child, as children do, you know, everything is so beautiful. Everything is so innocent and everything is in curiosity and awe, you know, that's what we're going to be going into. So it's like going into looking at life as in awe and, you know, watch children, how they are with, you know, how they play with animals or even when they look at an insect, you know, 
a tree, a limb, whatever it is. They always look at things with curiosity. That's how we should be with our life, with our experiencing life. And we should be looking at it with that awe of life and wonder. Um, be careful, yeah, the politics, yeah. So be careful what you say. So that totally confirms. Be careful what you say. Be careful of talking. I, I don't know about you, but I don't like talking about politics. I was raised not to talk about politics, religion, and money. <laughs> so I stick by those rules, and it always comes true. Um, but with the seven, I feel like that brings good luck. But it also is being careful of other people around you, um, taking the face off. So if you see the face over the, the snake, it's, you know, taking the, the fake mask off, basically. Um, they, so you can see the true people. See, and I think that's where the clarity is coming in, that we're going to start seeing more faces being lifted off. You know, the true identity of real people are going to really start seeing the true people. And I think that's where a lot of us are going to start seeing more clarity about things. You know, like me, I was like really seeing how, you know, ugly people can really be and how horrible they really are, especially to, especially to animals. I just, it really gets my heart every time I hear about something, even kids too, it just really bothers me. Um, let's see what else that they have to say. So the first thing I'm saying for this to go through this new moon is, <laughs> we got the creator card. So for me, this one shows, so it's two different meanings for this one. Um, one is we are the creator of our lives. We are the ones that create our lives. We are the ones that are responsible for our lives. So we are the ones that are have to take responsibility and start making the changes that we need to do to make our life go forward. If it's getting up walking every day, taking that five minutes every day, taking five minutes to meditate every day, whatever it is that we need to do, um, really start listening to yourself, really start listening to your intuition, listen to what your uh, guides are telling you. Because I know my guides are telling me I need to start walking every day. I get walking and then, you know, because I have a really... I feel so much pain all the time and it hurts to walk and I just start feeling that pain and I just like you know what I'd rather just sit down <laughs> so that's not going to help me feel any better but it feels good at the moment but it's like you know just being careful being more active and listening to your intuition um, be the creator of your life but I also feel like this is showing me that um Source God energy is around all of us and that he is showing us that we are all one, that we're all part of each other. We're all part of an aspect of Source God having a different life experience. Um, so that gives me just another side note on that one. Um, let's see if they have any other advice. So the same, drink plenty of water. Make sure you get extra rest. You know, even if you know, you know, they want us to have more fun. You know, play, have fun. We're here to have fun. We're here to enjoy life. Because when we go, when we go home, we're going to look back on this and go, why do we not enjoy our lives more? That, you know, all the stress we put ourselves under was for nothing. And it's like, enjoy your life. Have fun. Be playful. Take some time out for yourself. Have fun time with your kids. It's summertime, you know, get out in nature. Celebration. There's a celebration coming. Celebrate, you know, maybe there's a birthday coming, but celebrate have fun this is a time for celebration it's a time to let go of the old let in the new and let all that old stuff go so it's a time for new beginnings this is showing me clear and day right here you know this confirmation that we are being guided we have guidance we're being you know told and um giving information on what to do is just, we have to get out of ourselves to get out of our head to listen to that intuition and what they're saying to us um breaking free from the chains of what's holding us back so on that, I don't really have much else. So they're saying to drink plenty of water, make sure you're grounding, make sure you're walking, um, really, really limit yourself to social media, whatever you're spending your energy into, because it's sucking more energy off of you. So you're giving that so much more energy that you're not giving your body the energy you need. So taking time off of social media, you know, even if you need to take a two hours out of your day away from social media, off your phone, whatever you got to do, take time to replenish your body, your soul, your mind, really get yourself centered again, um, but really start limiting yourself more off of, you know, social media, if it's YouTube, TikTok, no, Netflix, whatever it is, um, whatever you're spending so much attention into, you're giving that more energy than you are into your own, you're not investing into yourself. So start spending more time within yourself. 
um, really stepping away from that as much time as you can. Um, let me see. Yeah, we're here to experience life. We're here to have fun. We're here to experience every aspect of life. So have fun, make fun of it. This is a new beginning for us. This is a really good time for us to really start shifting forward. We've done enough purging. We've done enough healing. Like I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to be happy again. So it's like, that's up to us. That's my responsibility to make sure I'm happy. Nobody else can make me happy but me. So I make sure I'm happy. Whatever I got to do to make sure I'm happy it's whether it's taking care of my well-being by walking, meditating, taking time out for myself, even if I got to sit in my car for five minutes, you know, whatever I got to do to ground in and get myself centered back into me. So take care of you. Uh, make sure you sage, taking those Epsom salt baths. Even be creative with that too. You know, add your Epsom salt bath. You know, with the, I get the lavender, and then I add my favorite oil. You know, like a citrus orange or vanilla. And I love to just soak in that if I can, if like 15, 20 minutes, I'd like to do that. Um, after that, I just start feeling like there's too many people watching me, so I cannot take a bath too long. Um, but I even like uh, bath salts or candles I'll light in my room. Incense is very grounding for me, so I love to burn my incense every night. Um, that way it helps me to, I actually have a better sleep when I burn my incense. <laughs> and it just, I don't know what it is, it just removes, I guess, the excess energy off the house. And it helps me to have more of a restful sleep. Um, lets me let go is being an empath and a sensitive I pick up on people all day and especially working in customer service I pick up on a lot of people's energy so burning the incense helps me to relieve, relieve uh, release and relieve all everybody else's energy and keep them you know bring it back to me bring it back to who I am um, so making sure you are taking care of yourself and you know make it fun maybe do a magic spell you know uh, do something to really make it signify that you're letting this go and you're really moving forward this time. Burn a red candle or a purple one. Purple is really good for spirituality. Uh, red is for passion. So maybe that's why I'm seeing red for passion. You'll be excited for what's coming. You really start moving forward because we need to start taking responsibility and start you know, making our lives more happy. What can we do to make it more happier? What can I do every day that brings joy to me? You know, um, being grateful, being, you know, it's just so much more celebration is coming for us. And, you know, just realizing that we are the creators of our lives. Be careful what you're putting out there. Be careful of the thoughts. Uh, drink plenty of water. What else are they saying? Stay grounded. Stay grounded into Mother Earth. Ask her permission to draw all your negativity down. Because there's a crystal in the middle of the earth. And if you draw all that out, Mother Earth will release all that negative energy from you so that she can replenish you with new energy like leaves. When a tree blossoms, she has new leaves. It's Mother Earth that's regenerating her and blossoming her with love and regeneration, renewal. This is a time of renewal and a time to let go of what no longer serves us in this time. Like I said, we cannot bring this forward. We cannot bring this old into the new. We are moving into a new time, new energy like age of Aquarius. So getting ourselves grounded, getting ourselves ready, be happy, be joyful, because we cannot bring hatred and anger with us in the next part of our journey. I just keep feeling how proud of us they are of how far we've come and how much we have done for ourselves and the healing we have done. You know, we've done a really good job and we have not given up and we keep going forward. So the saying to really give ourselves a pat on the back, you know, give yourselves a big hug. Know how loved we are and how hard a journey this has been for a lot of us. And for a lot of us, it's been many, many years. So if it's been that long for you as it's been for me, <laughs> it's just time for us to rejoice and be happy and start making things us. Make it what makes you happy. Okay, so I think I'm done now. I hope this helps you. I hope you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you like the video, and I'm going to be getting another video. I'm still trying to get my house cleansing one I did out, but I have no space on my phone, and I'm trying to figure it all out, so I'm, I'm so stuck right now. So I may have to figure out another way, but I hope this video helps you, and I hope that I just really want to send you all white light and love, and I just send you love from the angels and from Source God Energy that we are on the right path and not to give up and to keep moving forward. So we're on the right road. A lot of good things are around us. God energy is around you. 
I will see you and the guys in the next video. I'm sending you white light and love. Bye.